Samus will get out of here today for her chicken strips. Welcome to the final part of Metroid Dread. So we cleared up ev absolutely everything in ZDR. There's no more items anymore. There's no need to go searching. No need for anything like that. All we need to do is to head up this big fancy elevator and and Itoras. We head to one more region. Here we are, Itorash. There are no items here. There's nothing. All you have to worry about is confronting the evil bad guy once and for all. There's a total recharge station here if you need it. And here's a save room if you also need it, which we definitely will. And there's just one more door. You'll need to power bomb this. What's the point of a total recharge station if you're just going to get all the resources anyway? Let's go up. Data. It appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Your photon genes must have slowed down the process. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Though you possess their DNA, you are not a Koha. Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Metroids are programmed to identify Machina's enemies. This suggests one thing to me. It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beak's attack. His presence awakened the Metroid's killer instinct. Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very existence poses a grave threat to the galaxy. However, there is no need to fear. You can still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. You have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. It's that simple. I consider your performance here on ZDR highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your Metroid powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed told me everything. Submit and offer up your power. My plan is the only way to bring order to the galaxy. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. Boys and girls, here we go. Final battle time against Raven Beak. This is a tough boss fight. Almost like, almost akin to like Dark Souls type. Where you just have to be really careful and utilize all your moves correctly. 
When he shoots that dark orb, basically shoot it as fast as you can. You can't really damage him, but wait for the signal to counter. Once he does this move, crouch down, and then counter this. You can either shoot missiles, which is, again, more effective, or you can just shoot regular energy blasts or regular north beam stuffs. <laughs> When he shoots that wave, just go very near him. Really, the only way you're going to have to... S you're going to progress this fight is by countering his attacks. So wait for an opportunity for the uh, clicking sound of parrying. Or, you know, just... Or just wait until he does something special, just like this. All right. Oh, got him! Alright, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm gonna try regular shots. Since that always seems to work for me. Look at how fast I'm going. <laughs> now here's where things get a little bit more interesting. You can now shoot him with your regular with your regular beams if you want if you want to but there's no need for uh, countering this time all you have to do is just to avoid his attacks just like this where he will aim at you at first before shooting in a circle he'll charge at you at the wall he will shoot a big laser at the floor he'll do all sorts of things he'll try to stomp on you and each of these attacks hurt a lot, so you can't afford to waste any can't afford to waste any time. Just remember your skills and you should be okay. Admittedly, this fight is like really tough. Like even I'm like even I'm still like not entirely sure if I can get it. Like I mean, I can. I'm doing pretty good so far. I definitely shouldn't say such things, but, you know, I gotta, like, concentrate here. Oh, God, my fingers are starting to hurt from shooting really quick. Okay. Other than that, though, like, Raven Beak is so, such a good fight, though. Like, it's a hard fight, yeah, but it's a really good fight, and I really love this. The fact that it even manages to get me almost every single time... It's just so cool. And I don't even need all those missiles. I don't even need all those power bombs and everything else. I don't need it. This game really thinks I need 285 missiles or 15 power bombs. Obviously, I need all those uh, energy tanks. Even ones I got from the amiibo and in game. So, yeah. Just remember, the extra energy tank is from the amiibo, by the way. It's not needed for 100%, but, you know. The extra help is very much needed. Final phase. He can shine spark now too. Because you because you and Raven Beak basically share the same sort of genes. He can do all sorts of things too. Now you gotta watch out for the sun and the fact that he shoots a big laser at you. And once again, these hurt a lot. So just be very, very careful with that. And watch his movements and watch all the attacks. All right, got him. I didn't counter that, obviously, but, you know, I'm doing my best. Obviously, the dark orb can be used to refill your energy and some of your missiles, but not entirely. So, just be mindful of that. I think you might be able to destroy the uh, the uh, sun with the power bomb, but I'm not entirely sure about that. He 
definitely can destroy it with a power bomb, though. So they are useful for something. Okay. You don't need to worry about anything. Just remember to shoot when you're in this sequence. That's all you can do. I'm shooting as quickly as I can. Okay, let me actually try to destroy this thing. Aha, you can. Now this fight just actually got like infinitely easier. <laughs> Oh god. I don't think you can use the screw attack though, but one, two, and that's it.
I think my only remaining question after all that is, why the heck did the planet explode? <laughs> like, I don't think there was any reason for, like, the planet to actually just blow up or anything like that. It just... So it happens because, like, you know, every Metroid needs a sequence, just like every Metroid needs a Ridley. Or Riddles, as I call him. Wait a minute, there was no Riddles. Man, this game is a 0 out of 10, except it's actually a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I mean, apart from the music not really being as good as I hope it, as I thought it would be, like... It, they're definitely atmospheric, but not really something that I would call like memorable tracks, except for maybe, except for the songs that we heard before in the Metroid series, and uh, you know, all that fun stuff, and no riddles because he was the highlight of all the Metroids. This is a really good video game. This is so good, <laughs> and that's not even to. And that's not even to count, like, all the updates it's received. Like, just little side things, mainly, and difficulty options, but... This game is what made me into a Metroid fan. Like, as soon as I was done with my first one, I was like, Bro, I gotta play this game again. Then I did it again and again, just trying to beat this as fast as I could. And that's what got me into all the other Metroids that I've played so far. Again, so far, I have played this... Fusion, Super, and Zero Mission, and they're all fantastic. I really want to play, like, Metroid Samus Returns or another Metroid 2 remake after, uh, as my next 2D one. But then I gotta go into the Prime series, and with Metroid Prime 4 being MIA, you know, or fake, or just something that Nintendo announced and was never brought up again. I have a lot of time. I have a lot of time. <laughs> I said I definitely have a lot, a lot of time to catch up on Metroid before the inevitable release of Metroid Dre of Metroid Prime Four in um I don't know, like maybe twenty five hundred when we're all dead. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Metroid Dread is really fun and. One of the best Switch games ever made. And I'm so glad that I finally, you know, got over my Metroid fears and played this finally. And got into the series because of it. Definitely, if you're unsure about Metroid Dread, like, wait for a sale. And, you know, given the fact that it's December right now, uh, Metroid Dread probably might or might not go on sale. So, yeah, definitely think about it. And especially considering the fact that there's also a demo available. Yeah, you can just play the demo and see for yourself if this is the right game for you. And, yeah, I definitely recommend this. It basically has some of the best control I've ever uh, felt in a very long time. It has some of the best, it has some of the best gameplay, you know, all that jazz. It's, it's a great, it's a great video game. And I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Very, very much so. There's still more, there's still a little bit more before we end the Let's Play. So I think I'll just stop talking right here for a little bit. So with that, I'll see you guys in a little bit.
And also another thing too that I really hope they patch in, but they didn't. Where is my swimsuit Samus or Zero Suit? <laughs> Every other game had them, so why not this one? Where Samus just looks at you through her helmet and is like, yeah, you just saw that. I was in a Metroid suit and that was really awesome and I had the hyper beam and ah, so good! Because there always has to be an escape to the ship. Anyway, uh, six hours, six minutes, and 27 seconds. Again, this is a Let's Play, so not this wasn't going to be one of my better runs, but, you know, at least I did it. And I always tend to save my time, too. And here's the mission result, too. I think this was also patched in. So you can basically see all the stats. I got in every single item. The total play time was... Uh, Seven hours and 46 minutes. Not bad. Of course, the time actually playing the game was six hours. I definitely got turned around by, like, a lot of things. Again, I'm not used to playing Metroid. So, yeah. Anyway, total energy was 1,399. That's the max amount. 285 missiles. 15 power bombs. I died 12 times. I received 41,412 damage. That's 41, 41, 2. I defeated 30 bosses and I saved 51 times. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's very fair. And now, of course, for the extras. The ending rewards, which you'll get, are just basically artwork from past Metroid games. Like, this one is Zero Mission, basically erasing the NES game as canon. Metroid Samus Returns. The one that I'm possible that I'm definitely sure that I didn't get is Super Metroid, considering considering, well, that game is technically next in the timeline after Samus Returns slash Metroid 2, which was the original version. There's Metroid Other M, which that makes it canon. Metroid Fusion. Yeah, look at that. You're approaching me. <laughs> Samus doing the DO thing. And finally, there's Metroid Dread. <laughs> God, I, I want the few I want the Metroid suit that Samus had at the very end to be like an alt in the next Smash Bros. game. That that would be incredible. <laughs> That'd be absolutely incredible. This art is so raw, it's so cool. I definitely have to look up the uh, Super Metroid art to see if that's there, but there it is. You get the uh Chozo Archives for completing the game, obviously. And for beating it on hard mode, you get number nine. Because there are just eight in total, and you get, like, the special secret one. Other than that, though, uh, nothing really else to say. Except Metroid Dread is a very, very good game that I think plenty of people who are very familiar with Metroid will enjoy, obviously, and... Uh, people who want to get into this sort of thing. Yeah, you can totally do it. I still say in terms of, like, games to get into Metroid 2, probably something like playing Metroid Fusion or Super might actually be the better choice since this is a story that takes place at the end of the timeline, but I don't really think that matters in the grand scheme of things if you want to play this game so I mean like I said plenty of times this is my first Metroid game so yeah you can start off with whatever game you want but personally this was my first so there you are and there you go and that brings another let's play to a close this is probably going to be my last let's play for the year because at the end of the month i'm going to be at the end of december and early january i'm going to be traveling and conventions so 
yeah, it's going to be a very busy d latter half of December. But I very much appreciate you tuning in and watching all the same. You know, leave a like, subscribe if you like it. And if you really want to support me, you can either leave a thanks in the YouTubes or you can support my Patreon, which opened up last month. Um, you'll get videos early, so that's a perk. And if you donate enough money, then you can shout out. So then you get a shout out at the end. So that's great. And uh, yeah, good stuff indeed. Good stuff. Anyway, if I don't have any more videos coming up, which I probably will have one more video coming on New Year's Eve, probably. Then I will see you guys in 2023 for a new Let's Play. See you guys later.